Camille Douglas. Introduce him. Camille Douglas. Introduce him. Camille Douglas. Juno Award nominee Camille Douglas. Can you please bless us. bless us with your voice? Because it's been too long since we heard it. We want to hear your story. Because every artist, every artist <laughs> has a story. Yeah. From where they started, how they got into music in the, in the beginning, to what inspired them to where they are now. There's always some story. Camille Douglas... The people out there have heard your name many times, but some of them really don't know you. Give us a little bit of your story. Wait, 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 wait. Don't know her. They don't know her. Okay, inside. okay, okay. They well, they they may they know what she was back in the day. Yeah. But now, they, people want to know. You know. Well, actually, let's get to her. Yeah. Let's get to her. Let her tell her story. Let her tell her story. Let me ask you about your story. All right. Come here. Tell right. me your story. <laughs> Good evening. How are you all doing? That was a wonderful introduction. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, what I'm doing, I'm working on my well-anticipated album that should have been out years upon years ago. But um, life had it that it didn't work out that way. God had other plans for me. Wanted to put me through struggles in life to have me build a story, to build an album, to have something to talk about. And that's what I'm doing now. All right. When you started, Camille, give us a sense of where you were before the, that you reached your, your peak with your uh, no, nomination. How did you get into music? I got into music, basically, really, my, my inspirations at that time were Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, and I loved to sing. I how loved you, to sing. Who discovered or how did you discover your talent and your voice? My mother. Your mom. My mother. You owe it all to your mom. I owe it all to my mom. I used to jump around the house with this uh, slip on my head. So I wanted long hair. I picked up whatever I had, a remote perfume. I had a microphone. I jumped around and, you know, she allowed me to do it. She allowed me to make the noise. She allowed me to break furniture. Uh -huh. She found my skills. She brought me into church, introduced me into school, into gospel. And from there, it's just so, so tell me, there's always a moment when you know you have it, where you did a performance. Yeah. Or something or the other happened, and people there listened to you, and you gave it out. And at that time, you said, you know something? I don't have to toot my own horn, but deep, deep inside you knew you had it. When was that moment? The Apollo, years ago, the Apollo. That was probably one of the most difficult experiences. Hold on, the Apollo, Apollo? Yeah, so that's what at the Apollo, yeah. Yeah, that's what you do, like, you know that's what I mean. Tell me your story. Right. See? Educate the public. Well, I put uh, a tape in. I sent a tape in. I was singing. I was doing a lot of performances around Toronto, you know, doing some Vancouver. I was doing a little bit of traveling, which is great. Then I wanted to conquer what I see everybody else struggle to conquer. And I thought I was good enough. I sent a tape. They called me back. I went over there with my management at the time, my mom. It was great. I went on stage. Steve Harvey. Steve, Steve, Steve Harvey. What a sweetheart. Um, it seemed like I was from Toronto. He uh, didn't think I could do it, and, you know, it was pretty tough. He's like, she's from Toronto. Oh, boy. You know, that was the kind of introduction. So I was a little nervous, mm -hmm. and I got out there, and I just, you know, when I get out there, I have a whole different persona. When I get on stage, yeah. you know, I don't know what happens. The meal's not there. You, you are know. the artist. Exactly. And I got there, I built it out the, the song, and I got standing ovation. That was when you yeah? knew that. You yeah, that is when I knew. Yeah. That is what I knew, and uh, yeah, that was probably the best experience ever for and me. And from there on, from it's there on, history. It's, yeah, history, you know, then a lot happened in my life. Uh -huh. And um, I took a short hiatus, uh -huh. um, learned from the experiences and things I went through, had two children, and here I am. I'm so ready. In your hiatus, mm -hmm. you must have stood, stood back and learned all kinds of different transitions in the music industry and all kinds of things really must have settled in in making up your mind to come back. Yeah. What have you learned do you think that will make it a little different this second time around yeah. for your talents to reach even higher heights than you did before? I think, um, one, I have worked on my craft. You know, I have developed my craft. You know, I know how to fine tune my voice. I know what octaves I can do. I know what I can take on. And I, like I said, when I get on stage, it's a whole different persona. It's, it's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm where I'm supposed to be. Okay. And um, through the years, I've just been just, my heart was hurting. You know, I've listened to the music. I'd hear people singing. I'd hear different songs, people performing. 
And, you know, that's what I'm supposed to be. So I said, you know what? I have the strong conviction. Mm -hmm. I have a lot to talk about. And I got back into well, it. Well, music comes from the heart. Yes, it does. And you've been storing this and bottling it up for a long time now. We are happy to hear your release is coming out. Talk to us a bit about that now. What is it that we're going to be hearing shortly and okay. seeing the award, Judah Award, nobody you come back with? Tell us about that. Well, this track is called Going Back. It is an old school party track, you know, I'm old school at heart. And uh, I just wanted to write something that uh, made me feel good and reminded me of the days when I used to go to the parties and dance. Not to stand up against the wall, mm -hmm. but dance. So I just felt like I wanted to, to write a song about going back to those days and just feeling good, and that's what I did. This is your own lyrics. This is my own lyrics. I penned it myself, produced by Dirt Track Productions. Um, but I wrote the song, and it's great. All right. All right. So, okay, we're going to play the song right about now. You guys, if you're feeling it, give us a call. 416-736-5656. First time on Rain. You're listening to Miss Camille Douglas. Camille Douglas, yeah, her first track in a long time. You know, Camille, it is truly a happy song. That's how I can describe it. Yeah. It is a happy song. It is upbeat. It has all the right sayings in there to make you want to get up and dance. 
Exactly. You That's know? what I'm saying. That's Going back to the old days, That's people it. got up and they danced and they partied and they enjoyed the music. That's what I love. That's what I wanted to go back to. And yeah. you know, it was all done with clean. That is my big thing, as you know. It's clean in the sense that there is no derogative remarks of any sort in there. This is just a clean song, young, old. And everybody in between can listen to this song and enjoy the song. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be a club banger. That's it. That's I, it. And so how do how do DJs across the city get, you know, DJ copy so we can Don't help? Worry. Well, Miss Camille Douglas is going to introduce to you her website. All right. Her website information, contact information, all that. All right. My website is launched today. Obviously, it's www.camilledouglas.com. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to be putting up my blog probably once or, you know, once or twice every other week, let's say, or, you know, if something comes up I want to talk about. Uh-huh. When you go there, you can hear my track. You can even download it if you would like um, on the main page. Um... What else can I say? It's, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Facebook, MySpace. All the links are at the bottom of my website. And, yeah, I'm going to hopefully, probably around May, have a webcast where I'm going to be in a studio with different producers. Uh-huh. And I'm going to invite you to watch live as I record and build my album. Listen, yeah. it sounds like a star rebirth. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. A star rebirth, truly. And, you know, Camille, with your personality and talent combination, you're going to have a lot of people supporting you. A lot of people in the industry know you from back in the day. You've always opened your heart when DJs like myself and others have called upon you. And we'll be there for you this time around as well. Now that you've come back out strong, this track does not need to be pushed. It's going to push itself. It's, it's naturally a good track. I do not have to convince people to play it. So Thank all you. DJs out there, check out CamilleDouglas.com. Download it. Let's start work on it. We know we're going to be working it this Saturday for sure. Yeah, and this Saturday is actually my birthday. March 26th is my birthday. Look at that. Yeah, so this is wonderful for me. It's a great day. What a birthday present that we're going to give her that day. We're going to come in massive. We're going to show her some love, and we're going to be all there to to, uh, help you um, launch your... Uh, your website, your your, your, yep. your and your, working on the album for uh, end of 2011, yeah. beginning of 2012. So. Oh, so there's more. Yeah, there's an album coming. Yes, there is. All right, so you heard it all. We're gonna do a quick commercial break to pay our bills. Uh, if you're feeling Camille Douglas, uh, you can uh, reach her on her website and Twitter and all that information when you get there. I'm quite sure. And then when we come back, you might have a few things to say. So we're gonna go to our bill payment when we come back. If you're listening to the Function 105.5 CHRY.